Good morning, YouTube. It's a Sunday morning here in my shop in the middle of February. I'm out here listening to Breakfast with the Beatles from KRLA, which I like to do every Sunday morning. And uh, I welcome you to Round Two Woodworks. I'm Mike. If if anybody's seen my other videos, you understand that my shop is best explained by saying that. Uh, it's 10 pounds of equipment shoved into a five pound bag. In other words, my shop is pretty full. So full I made a rule that if something comes in, something's gotta go out. You know, I'd love to have, I'd love to have uh, another 16 by 12 or 16 foot room, but you know, I'd like Santa Claus to bring me a Ferrari too, and I'm not sure he's gonna do that. So, uh, it, as I say, it's the middle of February, uh, it's in the morning, and uh, I thought I'd get out here before it heats up now. <laughs> oh boy, in California the last few weeks, it, it's been high 80s, low 90s, and uh, you know, that, that's pretty darn hot even for California in, this, in the, the February in the winter. Now, I, I guess if you're Charlie back there in Pennsylvania, 90 degrees probably sounds pretty good right now in the middle of February, but boy, when you have to spend day after day after day at 90 degrees, it's like July, and July's not my favorite month. So anyway, I thought I'd get out here earlier before it heats up and uh, get some work done. What I've decided to do is make a new cabinet uh, for my shop. Uh, I've got a lot of books in the house and I constantly run them back and forth to get them and take them back. So I thought I'd bring them, bring them into the shop. Let me show you what I got going. Okay, as you can see, my shop, below the bench, above the bench, you know, below the bench, above the bench, it's just, it's just full. I have no room at all except for right there now right there two years ago I put up that I guess it's called the Harbor Freight kickoff of the Black and De Decker uh, workmate and I must say it's a cheap kickoff of the Black and Decker I think I bought that for $24 with a two, 20 percent coupon two years ago I stuck it up there and it's it's never come down I've never taken it down um, so that's you know that's uh, three two, six eight square feet of wasted space and in a shop that's totally full boys six uh, eight square feet of space is it's a commodity that I can't waste so let me show you what I'm gonna do on this thing let me move out my table, my circular saw. This is another piece of equipment that, boy, when you need it, it's so great. I just don't use it very much. It's, it's big, it takes up a lot of space. But it's one of those things, as I say, boy, when you need it, when you're cutting two by fours or something, it, it just can't be beat, so. Even though I don't use it a lot, uh, I, I'm keeping it in my shop. So let me show you what I got here. I am planning on making a cabinet, a cupboard. This will have doors with glass on it. Uh, and then, you know, this, this pops into here and pops into here so underneath it I'll make another cupboard to keep my scroll saw and things on that I I don't have to dig for if I need it I can just go in there move this saw out of the way and grab it so basically this is going to be the area that the new cupboards are going into and let me show you what I got uh, in mind now below there will also be a cupboard big enough to hold my uh, 
circular saw, sanders, uh, uh, sharpening wheel, things like that. So, let me show you what I got. Now, I always try to kind of sketch out what I have in mind. And I mean, I, I, I sketch it all out. There's the little Christmas gift that closed the box that I did. And, and shelves and shelving for the shop. Everything I, I do, I try to kind of get an idea so I don't get too corn-fused, you might say. So what I've got here is a bookcase with two shelves going to be about uh, 12 to 14 inches in between the shelves and about 8 inches on the bottom shelf. It'll be 35 inches tall total, 28 inches wide total, and um, then there'll be a 3 inch redwood border around it just like all of my other shelves made with melamine on the out, just like all my other shelves so it'll match. And then, uh, you know, I, I went down to Home Depot. I, I got some, uh, some piano hinges. I had this. This is a sash lock, but um, I think it'll work to keep the cupboard closed. I've got it, so I'm going to use it. I spent probably $40 on... Uh, on the uh, wood and stuff. I had the melamine. I had to spend like, I think it was $8 for that quarter inch because this is going to have a back on it. Most of my shelves don't have a back on it so I can blow it off with uh, the leaf blower, blow the dust out. But uh, this is going to have books and everything in it and I really don't want uh, dust to get in there. So I've got... Uh, I spent, I think it was $8 for the quarter inch, and most of the expense was this. I think this is well into the 20s for this plexiglass. And I had the melamine. So, I try to use as much as I can when I have it, save some money. And uh, so I've got everything set up. Might as well get on this thing, see what we can do. Alrighty then. Looks like we need two pieces, 11 and a quarter, according to my schematic, <laughs> 11 and a quarter inches wide, 35 inches long. We need two of those pieces, so uh, we might as well uh, get to cutting. So now we need two pieces, 11 and a quarter by 26 and a half.
as I say, when you need it, you need it. Okay, these boards are not square, so first of all, I gotta square them up. Righty, now we need um, two red wood, uh, yeah, two, two pieces of red wood that's 35 inches long, three inches wide.
after 10, it's already 82 degrees in my shop. Wonder what July will be like. Alrighty, the sides need to be 35 inches long. I need two pieces, the top and the bottom, that are 26 and a half inches long. Final two cuts have to be 27 inches for the shelves. 27 inches. Looks like we got everything cut, uh, cut up. We've got uh, the sides 35 inches. We've got the bottom ends at uh, 26 and a half inches and we've got the two shells at 27 inches because they'll be dadoed in a quarter of an inch on each side. We've got uh, the three, three inch uh, Redwood cut. Now I'm not going to cut these to length until I get the box built and then I'll cut them to fit just to make sure I didn't screw up a dimension, but these are all right on the, the money, so I could probably cut it, but I'd rather cut to fit. So that probably about wraps up the time for this video, so uh, please come back and we'll start uh, putting this thing together, gluing it, screwing it, and and uh, using the router table to dado a little uh, indent in there so I can put the plastic in and then we've got to cut the back and 
and uh, this cabinet should uh, be coming together. So until next time, YouTube, I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope everybody's well and you take care until next time we meet. Bye now.